Hey everyone, happy new year. We're going to kick off this new year with a very simple Chinese recipe using a black bean sauce and chicken and asparagus and we're going to stir fry it old school. I'm using a wok today, but if you have a frying pan, that will do. My recipes are always simple using ordinary ingredients that your whole family will enjoy. Written recipes are also available to my patrons on Patreon and you can find out more in the description below. So let's get started. Oh, hey, look, there's BS thighs. <laughs> I am starting off with a pound of <laughs> boneless, skinless thighs. And if you don't like thighs, you can use breast meat. I'm cutting them up into about one, one and a half inch pieces. So they'll be easy to eat. So one pound of boneless, skinless thighs is about four thighs, four large ones. And it gets, gives you quite a bit of meat actually. So black beans look like this and they are fermented black beans. They're a bit salty so I like to rinse them before I use them, which I've already done here. And they come in a little bag like this and they're pretty cheap like I think it's like a buck for a bag of black beans and they go a long way because I'm only using one tablespoon today. We're gonna marinate the chicken for a bit so I'm starting with one tablespoon of vegetable oil, one tablespoon of Shaoxing wine. If you don't have Shaoxing wine you can use a sherry or just eliminate it altogether and put in a tablespoon of water instead. But this adds a nice flavor to the chicken. And one tablespoon of soy sauce. Two teaspoons of sugar and a tablespoon of cornstarch. And we're just gonna stir that around. We'll just let it marinate while I prepare the rest of the ingredients. If you don't have Shaoxing wine, you can also use bourbon, whiskey, whatever you have. Don't use Kahlua though, just saying. Have one onion that I'm just gonna slice up. We're using a thumb sized piece of ginger and this is about half an ounce and I'm gonna grate it. I peeled it already and I just used the back of a paring knife to peel and it just scrapes off, the skin is really thin. I have three cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna peel them and push them through my garlic press. adding it to my ginger. I'm using half a pound of asparagus and you can use whatever veggies you like. With asparagus, you take off the, the woody end of it because it's, um, it's kind of hard. So it will naturally break where it's tough. Sometimes it's higher or lower, but as you bend it, you'll feel where it will just naturally break off. I'm going to cut them up into two inch segments. So some suggestions instead of asparagus, you can use broccoli or um, peppers, red pepper, orange pepper, green pepper, carrots, celery, the kind of the harder vegetables, not like leafy vegetables will work really nicely in this dish. I also want to chop up my black beans a little bit and you don't have to do this. I just like to kind of disperse it a little bit. I don't like having big pieces of black bean in my mouth. It's all personal preference. Just roughly chop them. You don't have to mince them or anything. I'm just going to heat up my wok and if you don't have a wok, you can just use a cast iron pan or a large frying pan. It'll all do the same job. 
while that's heating up, just wanted to let you know, also I have a quarter cup of chicken broth here and all your ingredients need to be ready to go because the stir fry is gonna happen fairly quickly. Oh, it's smoking. Yep, when a pan is starting to smoke a little bit, so when you add your oil, and I have a tablespoon of vegetable oil and I'm adding my chicken right in. You want to keep the chicken in a single layer and just let it fry for a little bit on one side for maybe about a minute and then we're going to stir it up. Great. We're gonna cook for another two to three minutes to make sure the chicken is fully cooked through. Okay, removing the chicken. Quickly adding another tablespoon of oil. And we're gonna add our onion. I'm going to cook the onion for about a minute. I'm going to add our ginger and garlic. That smells amazing, dude. It does smell really good. And cooking that for about 30 seconds. Adding the black beans. And the asparagus. We're going to add the chicken broth, quarter cup. Put a lid on. We're going to cook it for about a minute or two, just so the asparagus cooks a little bit. Okay. Adding a good pinch of salt. Okay, there's not much sauce in here. If I add the chicken back. All the juices in there as well. A teaspoon of sesame oil. Turn your heat off. Give it a stir. And that's it. Are you all ready for? It's 2020. I can't believe it, the taste. This looks gorgeous. I don't know if you can get in there with a closer look. A simple dish with mm, a lot of flavor. I wish you guys could smell the aroma. It's just so fragrant. But let's not waste any time here. Get into my bowl. The requisite white rice to go along with this very flavorful dish. I like my onions in there. Mm, black bean chicken. Yes, I think this looks pretty good. Incoming. Mmm. 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 I love how the the plainness of the white rice is a necessary contrast to the highly flavorful dishes and. Well, you know what? That's what we grew up with and I still love those flavors together. Texture of the rice, the grains of the rice, and definitely spot on with the need for uh, a firmer veg to go along with the dish. Green beans would be really good too. Yeah, and the, but the asparagus is really nice. I like it, except for the aftermath. You all know about the aftermath of eating asparagus? I'll let you Google that. <laughs> Let's not forget the wok hay which is the breath of wok <laughs> to simulate that heat that you would get from a commercial stove. Like when you go into the restaurants and if you do it right, the food comes out and not only do you get the aroma of that smokiness, that wok hay, but you get it into the food as well. It's not burnt, 
it's just a nice flavor, smoky flavor that permeates through the food. Yup, I love these flavors, Flo. Love them. You gotta try this out, guys. Thanks, dude. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to bringing more simple recipes to you using ordinary ingredients that your whole family will enjoy. Till next time, be simple, ordinary, and joyful.